In today's video, gents, we're talking about easy ways to upgrade your cool weather wardrobe. <laughs> Fall fashion upgrade number one. Take your jean jacket, take your denim jacket, and throw them to the side. Nothing against those classics, but let's bring in something new. Guys, I want you to check out the overshirt. Also sometimes called a shirt jacket, this is a light outerwear piece that's actually been in men's wardrobes for hundreds of years. Traditionally worn by the working man, they were dyed blue, hence the name blue collar, and worn by men who worked with their hands. Fast forward to today, overshirts come in a wide variety of styles and colors. Right here, you've got a brown overshirt in a classic material, corduroy. Brown not your color? Go for a corduroy in blue. Want something more luxurious? Check out what I'm wearing, a cashmere in wool. It's going to keep you warm and incredibly soft to the touch. Now, personally, I like the monochromatic look, but if you want to change up, have a little bit more contrast, either change up the trousers or change the color of the jacket. Right here, you've got an overshirt, aka shirt jacket, in a brown, lighter color that's going to work and it kind of has a camo look over to it. Now, the two overshirts I just showed you, notice that they've got those pockets. Pockets in general, like that four on the front, it's going to make it overall more casual, a bit more rugged. It will help to build up the chest, but if you want to go over something sleeker, a little cleaner, then choose an overshirt that has a clean front. No pockets there, and it's just going to give a really nice, smooth look. Now, blue is always a great default color going to work with most things in most men's wardrobes. But if you want to spice it up, check out this green. You guys know I love green and boom, it just looks great, especially if you've got a little bit darker skin and darker colored hair. That being said, don't be afraid to change up the style a bit. Notice everything I showed you has a zipper. Look for buttons to have a little bit dressier of an overshirt. Now, material and pattern matters, especially when it comes to formality and what you're going to wear this with. Flannel is going to be in general casual. It's got a nap surface, very soft, great for the winter. But this style right here is going to be something that you're not going to be able to dress up too much. That being said, if you want to bring a pattern in and dress it up, go for something a little bit sleeker. Right here, we've got a check pattern, which looks really good. But the most dressed up looks, if you would call, you know, wearing an overshirt dressed up is going to be in a solid dark color. This blue herringbone right here, beautiful, classic, and on point. Today's video, gents, is sponsored by John Henrik. If you appreciate the timeless, classic, European aesthetic, you're going to find it over at John Henrik. Over at John Henrik, you're going to find outerwear, you're going to find sweaters, trousers, shirts, blazers, and tons of accessories. Seriously, their leather bags for the money are some of the best deals you're going to find out there. But my favorite part about this company is how they stay true to the classic style aesthetic. Everything you're going to find on their website, these are timeless pieces that you can add to your wardrobe and not worry about this going out of style, going out of fashion. This is stuff that you can invest your money in and actually look great for years. Now, the secret sauce behind John Hendrick is actually pretty simple. The founders, these were men's style enthusiasts. So, they want to get the style right. They didn't want to build something that didn't look good. They wanted to make sure the aesthetics, the classics were covered. Next up, they are working with manufacturers over in Europe that are making small batches. And because they sell directly to the customer, they don't have any expensive storefronts, they're able to keep their prices down. Free worldwide shipping, great customer service, and down in the description of today's video, I've got the best deal for you out there on the web. It's a limited time deal, so go over to John Henrik, love their stuff. I wear it all the time, especially their knitwear is second to none and such a great deal. Again, use that link for the best deal out there on the web. Upgrade number two, throw out that hoodie and upgrade to a cashmere sweater. Now, cashmere, as the name implies, comes from the cashmere goat and other breeds of goat. And this is a luxury fiber that men have used for thousands of years to create high-end clothing. The sought-after properties are a smooth, silk-like feel, an elegant drape, which is basically the way the fabric hangs, and an ability to insulate and keep warm. What I like about this sweater right here, besides it having all of those properties, is also the color. It just works great for this fall season. That being said, cashmere sweaters come in a wide variety of colors and styles. This one right here, again, made from cashmere. Notice a little bit lighter color, going to have higher contrast with dark colored jeans like I'm wearing here, but also notice the style difference in and around the neck. That last one was a crew neck. This is going to be a turtleneck, and a turtleneck, in my opinion, works for a lot of guys. I want to know, why are so many guys afraid to wear turtlenecks? I think it's a style that works for more body types than most guys give it credit for. I think that they're just afraid. They think it's going to be uncomfortable. But when you go wool or you go cashmere, nah, this feels good and it looks great. Helps you stand out from the crowd. Agree? 
Enjoying today's video? Do me a favor, smash that like button and let the YouTube algorithm know that, hey, this video is a pretty good one. No, seriously guys, when you interact with these videos, they reach more people, I appreciate it. And if you disagree, let me know in the comments why you think turtlenecks, yeah, just don't work for you. Now, just to be clear, cashmere is not the only game in town and it's far from being actually the most common fabric we're going to find in sweaters. That fabric is actually going to be wool. Wool is going to be rougher wearing. It's actually going to be easier to find. It's going to be therefore less expensive and is a great fabric to use in lightweight sweaters because again, it's got great insulating properties. It'll keep you warm. At the same time, wool has a very unique property of being able to absorb about 40% of its weight in water. So, whether you're sweating, whether you just simply are on a boat and you happen to get it wet, it will still keep you warm even when it's absorbed quite a bit of water. And I know some of you guys have this impression that all wool sweaters are going to be itchy. That's not the case. It really depends on the thickness of the fiber and the way that it's woven. Merino wool, especially in higher end sweaters, is is going to be incredibly comfortable, almost as soft as cashmere. Now, you may be thinking, what about cotton? Great question. So, right here, I've got a cable knit cotton sweater in blue and notice I've also got that turtleneck going there. Point being is this is a very good option. Is it going to be as much, have much insulating properties as wool or cashmere? No, but it's going to make up for it in durability and the ability of cotton just to be thrown into your wash. You don't have to take this to get dry clean. You don't have to really be careful and you do have to be careful with those luxury materials. Not so much with this one. You can be a little bit rougher and you will find because this is not a luxury material, it's going to be a lot less expensive. And just to be clear, not every sweater in my wardrobe is a turtleneck. I do love them, but that cable knit, let's talk a little bit more about that. This is a particular type of stitch. It comes from the working class in Ireland and this is something that we have seen pop up in classic menswear. It's been in here for over a hundred years and I think is a great, it adds a bit of texture to the overall look of the sweater. It actually does help with the insulating properties but most of what I really like is you can go with a simple solid color like I've got here with this dark green and it just looks great. This is something you can put on a brown jacket, a brown vest and it's going to look good. Now, what about having fun with colors and patterns? Can this be done? in classic menswear? Well, of course it can and no better example than the Fair Isle sweater. Named after a traditional knitting technique used to create multiple patterns with various colors, it's named after one of the Shetland Islands Fair Isle. In fact, a hundred years ago in 1921, the Prince of Wales actually put the Fair Isle sweater on the map when he wore it publicly and it became a craze and ever since then, this has been one of those secret fun weapons in a well-dressed man's wardrobe. And if all that's too much for you, don't be afraid just to keep it simple. Right here, I'm going with a half zip pullover in a dark maroon. Now, notice there is a bit of a pattern here. We've got a classic ribbed pattern. What I like about this pattern and the makeup of this type of a sweater, this one's made from cotton, is that it's going to fit a little bit closer to the body. It expands out very comfortable. This is going to be durable. This is going to be something I can throw in the wash whenever it gets dirty. At the same time, I could dress this up. I could even wear this under a sports jacket. Which leads me to my next style upgrade, which is for you to throw out that fleece jacket and instead upgrade to a quilted to an insulated vest. Now, some of you guys are thinking, come on, Antonio, a vest, it's not going to work for me. It doesn't work for my body type. I just don't like the way they look. Here's the thing. You got to learn to layer them properly and find a vest that actually fits you. Because here's the secret of the vest. If worn correctly, it's incredibly comfortable and it looks good. Again, sets you apart from the crowd, really levels up your style. And again, the key with anything in men's style is fit. Fit is king. So, put that vest on and first up, make sure it's not too long. Shouldn't cover your buttocks. Should just cover your waistline. Next up, you want to make sure that vest fits you snugly in the chest area. Again, it shouldn't be overly tight and it definitely shouldn't be loose. If the vest is too loose, take it to a tailor or seamstress, get it adjusted to be brought in or exchange it for a different size. A well-fitted vest layered with a sweater, maybe just with a bit of contrast, gives a man a refined look and again, I just love how it gives you more freedom of movement, it does a great job keeping you warm, that insulation of the core and again, is going to set you apart if you want to have a style that yeah, just looks good and again, gives you that edge. And gents, quick reminder, all the products you saw in today's video can be found over at John Henrik. I'm linking to him down in the description. And by the way, John Henrik now has jeans. So, if you haven't been over their website, looked at all the great products, all the great styles and the accessories, get over there. Awesome company, proud to support them. So, what video to watch next? Well, I'm not going to tell you. That's right. This is going to be a mystery video. What video is Antonio going to 
going to send you to? Well, you got to click here to find out. I promise it'll be a good one. It is safe for work. I'm not going to Rick roll you, but it'll be, yeah, it'll be a good one. Find out what it is, guys, by clicking on the video. Boom, right here.